his first goal at Highbury, while Dalgleish searches for his first of the season. And Arsenal make their first team change. At number seven, Alan Sunderland, who lost his appeal against a club fine yesterday, takes the place of Brian McDermott as the third attacker in Arsenal's new progressive formation. And Graham Ricks is the new captain. Joe Fagan has picked the same team for every league match so far. Number nine, Ian Rush, has scored in three of those four games in which Liverpool are unbeaten. And number six, Alan Hansen, makes his 200th league appearance for them. The referee is Alan Seville from Birmingham. Liverpool wearing the yellow strip, playing from the right. And these two teams know each other so well, it's hard for them to come up with something new tactically. But Arsenal have made provision today for Colin Hill, their number six, to mark Ian Rush, for Stuart Robson to push in tight on Kenny Dalgleish. And it may mean David O'Leary playing more or less as a free man with Kenny Sansom picking up Michael Robinson. We shall see as the game develops. But that was the plan, and it's a free kick to Liverpool to be taken by Souness. Played short to Neil. scored here when Liverpool won 2-0 a year ago. Talbot to Ricks, Davis, and Ricks with the ball forward for Nicholas. Oh, against the bar! So close to his first goal in front of the home fans. And instead it's Dalgleish at the other end, finding Rush. Johnston. Sunis. And Neil offside, is it? Well, the flag was up. Well, that was a fine ball by Graham Ricks. It cut the Liverpool defence. And Nicholas, the angle was never better than ordinary. But he got a powerful shot in. And it crashed against the bar with Grovelar beaten and went to safety. Sunderland that the linesman flagged for anyway the referee has given the free kick there but if you saw that again I'm sure you'd agree another Arsenal player on the left was further forward than him opening period with Alan Sunderland running into trouble against Johnston and that's a useful ball for Dalgleish and here's Rush deflection Robinson could save Johnston Greg Johnston puts Liverpool ahead after 17 minutes and he started the move too if I'm not mistaken started on the left, it went out to Dalgleish on the right, 
the first good chance appeared to come to Michael Robinson. Jennings saved that, but Craig Johnston was on hand following up the attack to put Liverpool in the lead. It's his first goal of the season and indicates a sign of confidence getting into the penalty area now that uh, Joe Fagan has given him a specific position in the side, which uh, many people feel he didn't have before. Here's Kennedy. Rather unlucky for Pat Jennings, who made a good instinctive save from the first shot by Robinson. Good ball from Ricks. Woodcock's got three in the middle. Sunderland to O'Leary. Arsenal are committing so many men forward that uh, Liverpool get a break, a ricochet, and they're on their way again. Dalglish with Kennedy coming up outside him and four now the other way for Liverpool. And Sammy Lee's in there. What a superb counter-attack. And that's where Liverpool punish you so fiercely and so promptly if you lose the ball. It only takes of seconds for them to turn a defensive situation into a promising one at the other end. Rick spreading it wide to Sunderland. Took it down well and found Talbot. Now Arsenal have got plenty of players forward, but Liverpool so good. Closing down the midfield men and look at that. Johnston to Dalglish. Arsenal are undermanned again at the back. And Dalglish goes on, and Robinson comes in to bring a save from Jennings. But the same pattern again. Liverpool winning the ball by pressing onto the Arsenal midfield and smoothly carving out a shooting opportunity. through to the other gets it back from Lawrence inside for Robinson little touch for Rush danger here for Arsenal Here's Johnston, and Robinson's in there, and forces a corner off O'Leary. And Rush coming in, comes back to Dalglish. Kennedy. Oh, and Johnston here, Robinson's in there. Mistake by Alan Sunderland, letting in Craig Johnston. But as the ball was squared, Hill's challenge surely put Robinson off. Sunis. Dalglish to rush. Oh, two mistakes. Lee. Rush again. Johnston beats Talbot. And indeed, uh, Johnston's gone down injured after that collision. Talbot also got hurt. Kennedy. And he's been brought down by Sunderland, who's having 
a somewhat mixed time on this right hand side he's not having the best of luck defensively there was a clash of heads in midfield or rather Torbert's head and Johnston also took a blow and Rush gets up and against the bar by Jennings a brilliant save Lee puts it in headed by Dalglish then by Davis and Dalglish has missed a good chance Position, that looked a fantastic save. <laughs> Sunderland takes on Johnston and gets a free kick for obstruction. Manchester United trailing in a home match forced to go and chase the game and lying in wait a team who are very good on the break and who lead at half time with a goal by Craig Johnston watching Liverpool play with so much assurance at times in the first half you began to believe that they can achieve this hat-trick of championships which they're chasing having won it for the last two years they're so keen to make it three first division titles in a row and the last club to achieve that feat was Arsenal in the 1930s what an achievement it would be for Joe Fagan in his first season as manager if that uh, third championship was won Kennedy Davis that's a better ball now Sanson Nicholas in the middle so is O'Leary and Sanson's cross and O'Leary is there and Nicholas is there and the tackle or the challenge was by Lawrenson Johnston behind him. Souness. This time it's Arsenal who are shutting down their opponents in midfield and winning the ball. Sanson put it through for Woodcock who's onside. And it's still Woodcock. That's a very good save by Grubbenov. From Tony Woodcock. Put through initially brilliantly by Kenny Sanson. Refused to be shaken off by the defender. Went on tried to flick it beyond Grovelar's left side. Good reactions from the goalkeeper. And Souness with the long pass. Ian Rush. Ball was out. Davis again, three in the penalty area for Arsenal. Nicholas, Robson, 
just deflected for a corner. Important time in the match. Arsenal would expect to get something out of this spell. Away by Kennedy as far as Talbot. Ricks. McLeod. Sunderland. Nicholas didn't get hold of it. And soon it's on his six-yard line. Threatened to freeze, but in fact... Sammy Lee and then got the ball back. How quickly Liverpool recover just when you think they might be shaking slightly. It's a missed kick by Nicholas. Here's Robinson. Sunis. Lee on again for Kennedy and once more to Johnston. to come through into the attack he found Dalgleish and it went on to rush and here's Dalgleish again and Neil's still in there and there's rush Get the 
chance to break as they do here now with Woodcock. Ricks. O'Leary's made a run from centre half over to the far side of the area. They, oh, and O'Leary. Oh, a good save by Grobola. O'Leary came in there on the blind side. Notice how Paul Davis just blocked the defender and let the ball run on for O'Leary. But what a good instinctive save by the goalkeeper. Craig Johnston lost his boot in that scramble. He's putting it on as Ricks prepares to take the corner. And this is a goal kick. Well, O'Leary was uh, fed into the attack at a very timely moment there. And Arsenal are trying to play a more attacking formation this season. And the crowd today of over 40,000, the second crowd of that type to come to Highbury this week, may have to be patient if uh, the style is indeed at a transitional stage. Samuel Lee and Kenny Sansom. Match has been played in a good spirit. Nicholas, and that was a foul by Neil, running back and checking Tony Woodcock. Here's Sunderland. Thrust about that. Forward by Dalgleish to Robinson. Look at the stride Sooners made there through the midfield. Liverpool running, as always, into the 90th minute. Which to them has always been as important as the first. reflects more the fact that if they're a team whose style is in transition the real strength of the first division still lies with Manchester United and with Liverpool because Kenny Dalglish the finished article completed a fine Liverpool performance with the second goal and in the hard world of the English first division it's fair to say that Charlie Nicholas 